What's up, y'all? So guess what? I didn't prepare a speech. But you know why? Because I just wanted to tell the truth to you guys today. And you know what? You cannot prepare or control the truth. And as I understand it, we are artists. So everything that we live, practice, and study prepares us to share and tell the truth. So that's all I came to share with y'all today. And I had to meet you first to know what we were going to talk about. Because we're artists and we communicate. And the very nature of communication is twofold. One part, of course, is preparation. You got to have your language. You got to have your grammar. You got to have something to say. And you have to have heart. But the other part is being receptive and listening and responding and being able to respond to the truth in the here and the now. So right now, us, me, and you, we're going to have a little performance of the truth, OK? Cool. So let me look at y'all. All right, 2018 graduates. Wow. You feel good. You feel really good. Yeah. And the only thing that hasn't been mentioned yet, which I want to bring up for y'all, because I recently read a beautiful quote from a shaman from Burkina Faso. And he said, Ritual without spirit is like sharing a meal without food. So as profound as this ritual is, celebrating what you've been through and where you're going, let's remember what it's really all about. It's about the spirit. Yes. Yes. So now, all of you have been initiated into this role. You are vessels now. You are vessels now to go out into the world and to transmit this spirit that none of us in this room understand. We don't know what we're doing when we play. The only thing that makes it matter is the one thing we don't understand. Because you can practice and you know it's true. You can practice for eight hours a day for 25 years and not move a damn soul. And you know I'm not lying. So what are we really talking about here? We have come here. You've been here for four years, two years, six years, five years. And you go out in the world and expect to do what? To connect spirit with spirit. That's your job now. And from here on out, nobody else is going to tell you how to do it. From here on out, you are the vessels of communication. You are the vessels that have to listen, receive, exchange, and communicate, and tell the truth. And by the way, the truth changes day to day. A colleague you're working with on Monday who seems like your arch enemy may turn out to be your profoundest ally on Friday. Yes. Which is part of the challenge of being vessels for spirit truth tellers, artists, communicators, healers. And I just want to say that your mission now is no less than being a vessel for spirit. So practice responsibly. Study thoroughly. Practice hard, but soft too, so you have space to receive. And just remember, when you show up to play, to record, to heal, to write, to comp, to support, maybe you were the last pick in the band and you think nobody cares that you're there. Just remember that all of this training, all of this studying, all this debt, <laughs> <laughs> it's all to prepare you to be a vessel. And you can choose to make room for spirit to move through you in your music. You can choose to make room for that. Because again, and everybody here can confirm it, the thing we're dealing in, the capital that we exchange when we give a concert or have a therapy session, is the one thing that can't be explained. 
So I just want to remind you to make room for spirit, make room for the truth, and remember that you are the chosen vessels this time around, and that's how serious it is. And also have fun. Congratulations. <laughs>